Hello, and welcome to TC Life Safety's Tech Tips. My name is Dave Peterson, and today we're going to get into the wiring and uh, configuration of the Ermit video doorbell system. It's the commonality of all of the three kits that we have is this doorbell. Uh, it's called a Micra. I don't know what it means, but it's, it's called Micra. And it's a good solid uh, galvanized steel piece of equipment. It's padded in the back. It's weatherproofed already. So it, it'll withstand being outside. And uh, let's, uh, let's run through some of the, uh, the insides of this thing. I can let you know, understand some of the wiring techniques. There is uh, obviously a terminal strip with connections. Uh, there's a pair of terminals marked L1, L2. That's your, your power and data into the unit. Um, there is uh, SE1, SE2. And SE1 and SE2 is a connection to a 12 volt, uh, basically a door buzzer. So you know, on the, on the apartment buildings, you, know, some, you ring the doorbell and somebody buzzes you in. We have that capability with Ermit. That's a 12 volt output. It goes positive 12 volts DC when you push the button at one of the consoles to tell that somebody in the house. And the last two terminals that we talk about is AP1 and AP2. It's a set of normally open contacts that you can use for, I don't know, garage door opener, turn on outside lights, open the gate up front, whatever other auxiliary function you have. There's a microphone, so the people inside can hear you talk. There's a speaker, so the people on the outside can hear the people on the inside talk. And of course, camera with uh, white LEDs to, to light it at night. Um, two, two, two things I forgot to mention to you. Uh, there's two, uh, two uh, potentiometers here. One increases the volume of this speaker. And the second one is a video uh, signal uh, adjuster. So that if you have a long enough run and, and you're seeing you're getting scratchy video coming back at one of the consoles, you can actually adjust the gain of the video output here and hopefully maintain a better picture inside the house. We'll talk about the unit that's, uh, that is what they call the, the Simply. It's the Simply unit. Um, it's a uh, four inch square color monitor with a handset. And there's some controls and connections that we have to be concerned with when hooking this thing up. First of all, if, uh, a, if a call comes in from a doorbell uh, at, a, at a shipping dock or wherever this thing happens to be, merely lifting the handset up and saying hello activates everything. It turns on the connection for the uh, voice and the camera, and um, you'll be able to see who you're talking to. Um, there are three other buttons in the front, though. The top button here, that is, that's for that... Um, uh, S1 uh, output, which controls uh, the uh, garage door opener, outside lights, or gate. So you'll be able to open gates with the push of a button. The second button has a key next to it. That's to buzz somebody into a door. That's that 12 volt door buzzer option. And then the bottom is an eyeball. By pressing that, you turn on the camera at the doorbell, but you do not turn on the speaker. So you can almost do like a surveillance type of thing. So if you hear noises outside, you push the button, you can take a look and see what's going on outside your door. Along with that are some controls off to the side of the unit. We have a control for color hue. You know, you can adjust the color hue on the, on the camera picture. Um, there's a brightness control. And the bottom one is volume. And if you turn it all the way down, obviously it mutes the volume in the, on the unit. And when you mute the volume on the unit, this little red light comes on to tell you that it's mute. So if you don't understand why you can't hear anybody or they can't hear you and the light's on, you'll know why. Looking at the back of the unit, we have a bracket so you can mount it to the wall. And back here, simple connections. Um, 
V1, uh, no, I'm sorry, not V1, but V plus and V minus, that's the voltage that operates the system. You bring 15 volts DC in here, and you do that with the supplied transfer. You bring 120 volts in, 15 volts out. It powers this and the doorbell. After V1 is L1, L2, which connects to L1, L2 at the doorbell. That's your power in communication out to your doorbell. Uh, S1, S2, that would be if you had a slave unit. You can have one additional console that acts as a slave. So that would take power and data out to that slave unit. And then the X1, X2 is a hardwired connection between this uh, uh, driveway uh, door, gate opener, or whatever monitor um, option you have. You have to actually hardwire that together. Um, but the key and the, um, the surveillance mode both work without any extra wires. So you'd have four wires between the master and the slave console and just two wires out to the doorbell. There are uh, switches in the back. There's a two position switch that tells you whether this is the master or the slave in, in the, of the two, if you have two uh, consoles. And then there's a three position switch which basically sets up the time delay for the buzzing in function. So for instance, if you hit the button real quick, how long does that buzzer have to buzz for somebody to get through the door? Uh, the options are 300 microseconds, uh, three seconds, or six seconds. So you just pick whichever one you want. Um, my suggestion is pick the six seconds. They'll hear the buzzing for six seconds, but at least they'll get through the door in time. All right. That's the simply. Um, please visit us at uh, the website www.tclifesafety.com. Type in intercom without breaking anything. Type in intercom in the search bar and it'll bring you to all of the Ermit products that we supply. Remember that on each of the pages for all of these devices. There's that blue documents tab that you can click on that gives you all of the installation instructions, all of the data sheets, all the information you're going to need to make an informed decision on how, how which ones you want to use. And with that, I'd like to say thank you and have a life safety day.